Hello everyone and welcome to Knife Review 3000. Today we've got the Spyderco Resilience. This is one of Spyderco's value folders and it is the largest value folder that they offer. Uh, this particular one comes in at four and a quarter inches for the blade length, uh, about nine and three eighths overall, and the handle's about five and a quarter, which that's a good, that's a good six finger handle right there. So you got big hands, you have gloved hands. Uh, this this will be plenty for you. It's it's not going to be too small. Uh, you have the 8CR13 MOV blade and a full flat grind on there. It is a good slicer. Um, if you're taking it camping or just need something that that has a, a nice uh, long sweeping edge and on it. This is, can't go wrong with this one. Um, you've got liner lock, a jimped liner lock, and it comes out a good way, so it's not hard to get. Um, you've got steel liners in there that are skeletonized that keep this thing pretty stout. It's, there's not a lot of wiggle in there. Um, for a value folder, 60 bucks. You expect a little bit, and there might be a little bit in there, but I'm I'm putting a good bit of pressure on there, and it's it's not really moving. So I put it through its paces, and I've I've never been let down. I've I've had this one a, a good while. Uh, you've got your lanyard hole. You've got a four position pocket clip. Uh, the G10 is got it's textured, but not too much that. Uh, you think it's going to tear up your pockets. So anywhere you put that clip is, is going to work out fine. Um, comes in at 5.4 ounces, which is a little heavy, but considering the size of the knife, it's not too bad. Uh, I've never really considered it a, a heavy knife in my pocket. It hasn't felt that way, but... Um, you know, you're talking about a, an ounce or so lighter than like the Spyderco, or uh, sorry, Cold Steel SR1 Lite. This thing is kind of a chunk. You, um, it's just kind of bigger in every dimension. So, um, yeah, so this this thing is a chunk. But this, the, the Spyderco, they've done well at keeping you know, something that's a large knife, making it feel uh, a bit smaller you know, with the skeletonized liners. The the G10 isn't super thick. Uh, it doesn't need to be. Um, so overall, if you're looking for a big knife, maybe a glove box knife or a beater, you know, something to take camping, this, this would be a, a, a real good uh, option for you um, so yeah can't go wrong with with the resilience if you're looking for something big so uh, if you like this review please like and subscribe uh, and you all have a good day thanks